first is raising corporate tax, consumption tax, but it's be more. Shigeru Ishiba was elected as the new president of LDP. Do you wonder how this will impact the future taxation and economic policies? Let's take a closer look at how it will affect our lives. So in this issue, we ask, is a tax increase or cut due to LDP president Shigeru Ishiba? So first, look at Shigeru Ishiba's past economic policy and response to the tax system. His economic policy follows that of the Kishida administration which is called New Capitalism. The policy emphasizes investment in people, revitalization of domestic investment, and transition to a digital society. However, it was not clear what was new, and it was sometimes criticized as only a phrase. It has also been criticized for being inadequate in terms of reducing inequality. So let us look at two points that Mr. Ishiba will follow. Firstly, overcoming deflation and growth strategies. His policy is to encourage salary increase and aim for better cycle of growth and distribution. He has made overcoming the deflation his top priority. But he is reluctant to surpass or subsidize gasoline tax to keep energy price down. It will take time for salary increase to catch up the price rises, and the government has indicated that it will carefully access the effectiveness of its policy for food and energy. On this basis, we will examine his impact on tax system. The first is raising corporate tax. Mr. Ishiba has stated that there is room to raise the corporation tax, indicating that he is willing to require companies that can bear tax burden to pay more. And secondly, consumption tax probably stay, but it will be more. He has said he does not plan to raise the consumption tax for now, but he has left room for future discussion. And third point is tax hike for defense. The current policy on defense tax hike will be maintained, but he said it will be constantly reviewed. So what does Mr. Ishiba mean by room to raise the corporation tax rate? The effective corporation tax rate now is 30.62% in Tokyo. Before 2021, the rate in France was higher than that. It was at 33.3%, but it was gradually lowered after 2022, and the latest rate was 25%. If the rate in France were 33.3% now, there will be a room to raise it only a few percentage points. According to the data of the Ministry of Finance in Japan, Japan seems to be in the higher categories. Honestly saying, I cannot find any room to raise the corporation tax. And the term of corporation would include the tax rate for small and medium corporation. Mr. Ishiba is considering strengthening the taxation for financial income, which is expected to impact the market. The tax rate is 20.42%, including 15% income tax and 5% resident tax. Will this be raised in the past when the Kishida administration introduced a similar measures and there happened a Kishida shock that caused stock prices to fall when Mr. Ishiba became LDP president? The stock price immediately dropped without any circulation, so there are no honeymoon period for getting the position of LDP president for Mr. Ishiba. And from 2025, the taxation for financial income will be actually strengthened. For a portion exceeding 330 million yen, the tax rate will be 22.5%. Some may say the tax rate will not change significantly from 20%, and that 330 million yen is not rated. However, the Ministry of Finance has set a barrier of 100 million yen. Therefore, this 330 million yen is expected to go down and down. There is also criticism of the policy of raising taxes, saying that it goes against the trend of from saving to investment. In particular, some are concerned about the impact on the new NISA and ITEPO. He aimed to raise the national average minimum salaries to 1,500 yen, hoping to spur consumer spending and economic growth. Yeah, this is all good, but without tax reforms, the burden also be increased and unemployment may rise, the so-called annual income barriers. The 1,030,000 yen barrier reduces take-home pay 
due to the reduced deduction for dependents and income tax. The 1.3 million yen barrier in social insurance premium will reduce take-home pay for those who enrolled in social insurance. This will also increase the burden on companies and increasing overall labor costs. Small and medium-sized companies will have difficulty passing on prices and the profit may be squeezed. With a tax reform, take-home pay will not increase. Instantly, Sanae Takaichi, who was in a close race, had a policy of oppositing a tax hike. For several years, Ms. Takaichi has clarified that she opposed any tax hikes, especially defense tax hikes. She aimed to increase tax revenues through economic growth, and she also opposed to raising consumption tax at this time and trying to increase tax revenue without raising the tax rate by increasing employment and income through strategic physical stimulus measures. It was said that the raise in the stock market in the first half of the party primaries was due to her being elected. As for everybody tax burden, you should be happy to have her as party president. Note that there is a trend toward higher taxes with Mr. Ishiba. Also, if he only raise taxes, the LDP may lose seats in the next lower house election. There is some talk of dissolving the house and holding a lower house election on October 27. Given concerns about the long-term downside, this could be taken as a desire to have the election immediately. So I summarized the tax influences of the new LDP president, Mr. Ishiba. I hope you will review your taxes at this moment. Please note that I publish a newsletter on taxes for self-employed and SMB owners doing business in English in Japan. If you are interested, please sign up in the overview section. See you again in the following video.